What about the gentleman with you? I'm on my own. Well, I thought I saw you get on the train with a gentleman. No. I see. I just have to take your word for it. <laughs> tickets, please, tickets. Methylated spirits, please. <laughs> Methylated spirits? Uh, yes, meths. Uh, don't please take offence, sir, but... Yes? Well, there are certain people who buy methylated spirits to, uh, to drink, sir. <coughs> well, good grief, man. Do I look the sort of person who would drink meths? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Give me a bottle quick. Yes. <clears throat> you haven't got one chill. <laughs> Uh. Right, I'm going to sleep now, and I do not want to be disturbed. You know what I mean?
Please, I'll, um, one minute long. Excuse me. Um... <laughs>
Ah, good evening, sir. I'm walking past your property. I notice you have no double glazing. Oh. You know the 70% of people. Have, have a look at that. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Excuse me. Uh, Kev, uh, Jim here. Jim. Just got in. Uh, Mandy's number. Uh, Mandy's number. Uh, Mandy's number. What do you think? Could be a one. Chip, don't do it. Sorry, it's a coffee stain on this. It's two or eight or even three. <laughs> Sorry, so it's five, four, six, one, seven. Chip, don't do it. Come. We're friends, Chip. Kevin, can you get oh, round here? I will. Trevor's turned up and he. Hello, Trevor. You. Hey, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Oh, Trevor. 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 What's the matter? Gotta kill you. I'll cure you all at me for good trip. You just leave her. Right. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm here, I'm here. She, she rang off. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Hello, yes, I'm coming round. What's the address? German. Yes, a good quality feel to the dashboard. Italian, then. Very sporty exhaust note. <laughs> a good solid feel to the ride. Japanese. Very low wind noise. French Citroen, perhaps. <laughs> Spanish, then. Argentinian? Russian? all of a sudden. <laughs> hello? Is there anyone there? I say hello. Oh, I've lost a shoe. <laughs> What's that noise? Is that my tummy rumbling? <laughs> it's a Skoda. Yes, definitely a Skoda. Morning, Mr. Holmes. When it comes to crime detection, I'm a wizard, and it shows. I can tell an old lag when he's out on a black by the way he blows his nose. With a quick pluck on my G-string, I demonstrate my class. You once caught a baked bean snatcher from a noise up the Kyber Pass. Oh, really? 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 Did I do that? You know you did, Holmes. Good heavens. La, 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 la. La 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 Remember that time on Dartmoor and that hideous hellish hound When we heard a howl and a fearsome growl and I quickly went to ground Yes, but you soon solved the case, Holmes, with all I was struck dumb He didn't spot me disguised as a tree with a tin of pedigree chum <laughs> Really? Really? <laughs> You know I did, Watson. Good heavens! La, 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 When it comes to crime detection, I'm the tops, if I may say. 
I can spot the crease on a cheap hairpiece from a thousand yards away. One day I'll be world famous. Like Miami Vice, I'll bet. Yes. Don't be silly, Watson. It hasn't been thought of yet. Really? 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 But it's a good idea, though. Yes, brilliant, Holmes. La, 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 can change from tough to tramp before your very eyes. Amazing, Holmes. You're very kind. You're a master of disguise. <laughs> what have you got, Holmes? It's me, Watson. Amazing. I thought it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Do you remember the Finchley Flasher who only wore a muff? Yes, we traced that scamp to a nudist camp and <laughs> wound up in the buff. I remembered my rugby training and I tackled the hapless crook. It's a pity your tackle made the campus cackle, but you're still a big boy in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I really think nothing of it. You're too kind for words. It's nice of you to say. La, 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 la. Fancy a pizza, Watson? No thanks, old chap. Had one before I came out. <laughs> Watson! It's only wall, isn't it, Holmes? <laughs> You lucky, lucky ladies. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Something's missing. What is it? Look, eyes, teeth. Got it decorated. <laughs> Is this the first time you've been up before me? I don't know. What time do you get up? 
Do you know what? This is funny. Here's a funny one. Listen, I'm to, all the old ones are coming in. They stick them all down. I'm throwing them all in. I'm throwing them all in, right? This is funny. You ask me what I have for breakfast, right? And I'll say haddock. And you say finnan. And I'll say no, ficken. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get raw. Go on, ask me. What did you have for breakfast? Cornflakes. <laughs> I think this is funny. This is funny. I went to the doctor's, right? And the doctor said, I think drink is the problem. I said, well, I'll come back when you're sober. <laughs> All stand. Ah, I'm the one who says that. Now, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Well, give us a chance. I haven't seen any evidence yet. Where is your counsel? I shall be acting for myself. Get on with it, then. Right. Cooper and Court, take one. <laughs> I'm innocent. I'm innocent. It was a plant! <laughs> Silence! I'm innocent! You said that! It's a repeat. <laughs> it is a good one, right? It's a good one, all right. Find a lady, right? Now, which hand is it in? Is it in that one, that one, or that one? Or is it in that one, that one, or that one? Then again, it could be under those two, or that one. Uh, I think it's the middle one. You're right. You're fired. <laughs> What on earth is that? That's my bail. <laughs> <laughs> I only ordered with your bix. Good one. Haddock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's quick, isn't he? According to your sworn statement, you are just an honest businessman trying to make money. That's right. I was just trying to make money. My wife made the lunch of voucher. <laughs> She's funny, my wife, you know. She said, I've got a Veruca. I said, well, don't play it late at night. The neighbours will complain. Veruca. <laughs> it says here you also stole a fair isle. A fair isle? Pull over. I'm not driving. <laughs> Furthermore, you broke into Marks and Spencer's on Monday the 5th, Tuesday the 6th and Wednesday the 7th. I couldn't find the right size. <laughs> I went out with a girl from Marks, but she wouldn't let me try it on. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that, the Faruka? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? That's my half brother. <laughs> Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, you are also charged with bigamy. I deny it. How do you think your wife feels about it? Which one? <laughs> it states here that you beat your wife. First offender? Yes, then a poker and a coal scuttle. <laughs> and award your wife 50 pounds a week. Oh, that's very kind. I'll try and send her a few by myself. <laughs> Before I pass sentence, I require a psychiatric report. <laughs> He's mad. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Have you anything to say? I'd like to ask the clerk a question. Is it a legal question? Of course it is. What's got big floppy ears, a big long trunk, and weighs three tons? That's irrelevant! Well, you know that. I was asking her. <laughs> <laughs> My case rests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... I'm throwing them all in. Get them all down there. Your Worship, am I allowed one phone call? Yes, of course. Thank you. Hello? How would you like to be stitched up on a bum wrap and thrown into a cell with two strange men? I've told you, never call me at work. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, you are guilty. I sentence you to 14 days in prison. Oh, thank you. I'll have the last week in June, the first week in July. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to the Arbroath League of Pity. Our expert this evening is Professor Jimmy McJimmy. Ah, see you, sir. Great, great, great. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I shall be doing something I've never done before for the first time. I would like to demonstrate the ancient Hebridean art of underwater piping. Now, this has nothing to do with the plumbing. It is, in fact, the total immersion of the piper and his pipes underwater. Aye, this dates back to the days of Bonnie Prince Charlie, when a wee shepherd boy, Hamish McShepherd, used to round up his sheep by playing the bagpipes after an evening of bunting and frolic. <laughs> an evening of bunting
hunting of frolic in the Hammer Inn. <laughs> he later became known as the Pie-Eyed Piper of Hammer Inn. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I perform this miracle, I would like to call upon the assistance of my assistant to assist me. She has assisted me many times, and before she was my assistant, her sister was my assistant. And she also has an aunt, who was not only an aunt, but was also an assistant, as well as being an aunt to an assistant and a sister when she was an assistant. <laughs> and her brother works in boots. <laughs> my assistant. <laughs> I would like to point out that all the water in this tank has been passed by the public health inspector. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that this is not fit for anybody with a nervous disposition or Liberal Democrats. <laughs> I shall also be abiding by British safety standards and I will be using a safety net. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, Amazing Greece underwater. And now, for the first time on BBC One, my left foot. That's funny. <laughs>